Hello crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating some modern mid-century style home decor pieces using the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree and other items from the Dollar Tree. Now these black and gold creations will be a perfect blend into your high-end decor pieces with a sleek, clean look for your space. Now as always, all of the projects I create have complete supply lists in the description box so you can easily use it for reference as you gather your supplies. Now before we start, I have to say, hey, hey to all of my subscribers, and if you're a new visitor to my channel today, I do hope you consider subscribing as well, and stick around to enjoy these crafts and all the different creative tips that I will show along the way. So now, let's just jump right into all of these projects. Now this project is a decorative planter on stands. We're going to need some of these tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree and one of these Halloween treat boxes from the Dollar Tree. Now we're gonna start with the Halloween box and what we wanna do is sand off any glitter. So if your box doesn't have glitter, I wouldn't worry about it, but mine did and I just wanna sand it until it's nice and smooth. Now once it's smooth, I'm gonna go in and put two coats of this Krylon black spray paint and it's this flat or you can use an acrylic paint as well. Now while that dries, we're going to go ahead and start working on our tumbling tower blocks. So you want to grab a carpenter square as well. Now the first set of blocks we'll be joining together are sets of three and we're going to make two sets of three. Now you could use some wood glue for these or you can use wood hot glue. It's all up to you. Now for this project, I am using wood glue because I want this to be super sturdy since it will be supporting our planter box and I'm just going to join them end to end as shown here. Now once you have your first one, go ahead and make two. Now the next set of blocks we'll be joining together are sets of four and these will be end to end as well. We're going to join them together the same way we did our three block sets, again using the wood glue. Then what I did is double the recipe so I'll make two frames out of each one of the sets. So now I'm just going to grab my four block set and my three block set and I want to start to join the frame together. Now the four block sets will be on the long side so I'm going to take a three block set and join it at the end and your blocks will be laying flat not up on their side. So I'm going to grab another three block set I'm going to put it at the opposite end of the other block, three block set that you placed. And once that's glued into place we can close up that open end with a four block set. Now once you put this in place, this will form your square stand and you want to allow this to completely dry. Now you're going to use your other four pieces to make a second square. Now once they're all dry, what we can do is get ready to paint these. Now for this project, I decided to use this metallic gold acrylic paint or you can use gold spray paint if you like. So I'm just going to add some of that gold spray paint down there, I mean acrylic paint, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start applying it on the inside of the frames first and then I'll do the outside. Now once I do the inside and outside, then I can paint the top of the frame and allow it to dry and then you can flip it over and paint the other side as well. Now you do want to do this for both of the frames and allow them to dry thoroughly. And now that all of our pieces are now dry, we can start assembling our planter holder. Now we're gonna place each frame on top of that Halloween treat box. We wanna align the top of the treat box with the top of the frame, noting that the three block set is at the top of the box. So I'm just gonna add a line of my wood stick hot glue along the top and about halfway down the sides of each side of the box and then press that frame into place, just making sure that top um, edge of the box is even with the top edge of the uh, blocks as shown here. Now once that one side is done, just add the other frame to the other side. And here are both of the frames applied to that Halloween box and I think that it looks awesome. So now all you have to do is decorate. And here it is. I just added some greenery and filler and I placed it on a display. Now I love the simplicity of this piece and how the colors and style really give it a sophisticated look. Now I really do think this gold paint really looks great in this piece and it reminds me of metal framing. 
And these little tree containers are so fun and versatile to craft with. Now you all have to let me know what you think about this project in the comments below. Now this project is a decorative square tray. Now we're going to need some tumbling tower blocks on the Dollar Tree. So go ahead and grab up your supplies and that carpenter square and all of your blocks. Now the first set of blocks we will be joining together are sets of four as shown here in a rectangular shape. And what we're going to end up making are six sets of these. So you can go ahead and use the glue of your choice. And for this project, I am going to be using the wood stick hot glue. So to join these together, I'm just going to join two blocks at the end of one block as shown here to form the rectangular shape. And then once those two blocks are joined, I'm just going to add that last one at the end and close it up. Now we're going to repeat this until we have a six total block sets. Now the next set of blocks we will be making are sets of 10 blocks in a row. And we're going to end up making three of these. Now for these, I'm just going to glue them side by side as shown here. And as I glue these, I like to flip them over. This tends to keep them nice and even and keep them from curving. So I just add one block at a time, adding that glue on the side and wiping it away as you go. Now here is one of the 10 block sets and you're going to repeat this until you have a total of three. So now what we're going to do is take our 10 block sets and we're going to actually join these together side by side to make one solid piece. Just add a line of that wood stick hot glue on that end and then press it firmly next to the next one. And then we just add that last row on there as well to make one solid piece. Now this solid piece will be the bottom of our square tray. Now I wanted to put little legs on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form legs with the tumbling tower blocks. And all I'm gonna do on each corner is form an L shape as shown here. Now once they look like you want them to look, go ahead and add some of that wood stick hot glue on the end and press it firmly into place. Now the second part of the L, you wanna add it to the bottom and the side so they actually connect in two places and then press that into place. Now you wanna repeat this all the way around the bottom of your tray. And so here's what the bottom will look like. So now we're going to take our rectangular pieces and this will be the decorative accent for our tray. So we're going to grab two of the rectangles and what we want to do is put one tumbling tower block in between them. Just add some wood stick hot glue in between them. Make sure that piece is nice and centered in between them as shown here. Now once you make this one, you're going to repeat this another time so you have a total of two. Now for these last two blocks, what we're going to do is put a block on each side. I'll refer to them as arms. So we're going to put two arms on each one of those blocks. Again, we want to make sure they are nice and centered. And once that first one is done, just repeat that for a second one for a total of two. So now that our pieces are made for our tray, we can start assembling it. So we're going to start with the top part of our tray. We're going to grab one of those two block assembly pieces and the piece with the arms. We're just going to add some hot glue to the end of one of the pieces with the arms and just butt it up to that corner of that two block set as shown here. Now once that's adhered, go ahead and rotate it around and we can add another one of these two piece rectangular pieces. Just make sure you add some of that hot glue to the end of the other side of that arm piece. And then once you do that, you could just press it up to that two rectangular piece as shown here. And now that you have the three sides, just add the two piece arm set right there in between it to close everything in. And here is what everything all adhered will look like. So now that all of our pieces are done, we can now paint them. So what I decided to do for the top part of the tray is to paint with my metallic a gold spray, uh, actually the acrylic paint for this one. And then the bottom of the tray will be the black acrylic paint. 
So I'm going to start by painting the bottom of the tray and this will be black. So I just want to start by painting the underside of the tray. Now this is completely optional, but I do like all the sides of my projects to be completed. It just makes it look more professional. So I'm going to apply one coat of that acrylic paint all over the bottom. Then flip it over and add it to the top and here is what the piece will look like. And then for our top piece, I am going in with my metallic gold acrylic paint and I'm going to paint this on starting on the inside of it first. So I like to start on the inside of it and make sure I get inside all of those little triangular or little rectangular pieces as well on the inside. And then I like to put a coat on the outside. Now I did put about two coats on this, letting them dry in between the coats. And here is what it looks like. So now that both pieces are dry, we're ready to adhere them. Now notice the bottom of the tray. I did not paint the bottoms of the blocks because I want them to adhere to the tray without the paint on them. So on those raw bottom ends, I'm just gonna add some of this wood stick hot glue and I'm just gonna add a line on the bottom of each one of those raw bottoms on the bottom of that upper tray piece and then press that right on top of the tray. Now this should fit perfectly on top. Now you just want to gently press it into place and make sure it's nice and secure. And here is your little tray. I just think it's adorable. Now all you have to do is decorate your adorable little tray with whatever you like. Now I place succulents in my tray and it really looks so sweet with the gold and black trim. Now there are so many ways to decorate these too, and you can use it in so many different spaces in your home. Now I'm so in love with this piece and I can't wait to make it in more in different colors. Now this project is a modern plant display. Now we're gonna need tumbling tower blocks on the Dollar Tree and some snips of greenery of your choice. Okay, so we're going to start off with our tumbling tower blocks and we are going to go ahead and start with three block sets as shown here and we're going to make a total of 15 of these. Now you could use either glue that you like, but I'm going to be using my wood stick hot glue for this and I'm going to be gluing each one of these pieces side to side. Now you do want to make sure you just remove that hot glue in between the seams if it oozes out. Now you're going to repeat this until you have a total of 15. Now what I did is put them in stacks of five and I'm gonna to start to build the stands. So I'm gonna put two three block sets side by side as shown here and then hot glue those together to make the base. And then I'm gonna repeat this for two more three block sets as well. So now that we have the two, we're gonna stack these on top of each other and then add some hot glue in between the layers and secure them together. Now once they're secure, we're gonna take that last three block set and we are gonna center it right in the middle as shown here. Just go ahead and add some more of that wood stick hot glue there and then press it right into the center and the top. Now here is one of the stands completed and I'm just gonna repeat this two more times. Now here are all three of my stands completed and ready to go. So all we're going to do now is we are actually going to paint these. So I'm going to be using some black acrylic paint. You can spray paint as well. It's all up to you. So I am going to put one layer of this acrylic paint all over the piece on the top, the sides and the bottom. Now this acrylic paint does cover really well. So I really only needed one coat. Now here's one fully covered and just repeat it for your last two until all three are done and let them dry. So now that these are dry, we are going to prepare the mounting holes for our plants. Now our plants have different stem widths. So what we need to do is drill a hole that will be appropriate for each stem. So I picked out a drill bit that'll match each one of my stems and I'm gonna drill a hole in the center of each block set. Now you could have done this before you painted. It's all up to you, but I am gonna go in and touch this, touch, touch it up. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to drill a hole in each one of my pieces and then make sure you remove all that sawdust. And then I'm just gonna go in and touch up those drill holes just to make sure everything blends in well. So 
So now we have our plant stems and I am going to spray paint these with this metallic gold spray paint by Krylon and I want to spray paint the front and the back. So here are all of my pieces all spray painted and dry. They dried in about 10 minutes and now I can add them to the bases. Now to apply them, I'm just going to give a couple squeezes of hot glue in each one of those drill holes and press that plant stem down into the drill hole on each one of the pieces. Now these should fit nice and snug. You just wiggle them in and then make sure they're facing the way that you like. And now all you have to do is let these completely dry and decorate. Now how simple was this? And I love how these turned out. Now it's amazing how you can take something as simple as plant scraps and turn them into this amazing display. Now all you have to do is choose whatever stems that you like, add some paint and these simple stands and voila, you have some awesome decor. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments below. Now this project is a mounted circle modern display piece. And we're going to need some tumbling tower blocks in the Dollar Tree, one round MDF sign or some foam board from the Dollar Tree. We'll need one of these adult side hula skirts from the Dollar Tree or you can use raffia. And we'll need one of these 12 inch dowels from the Dollar Tree. So go ahead and grab up your supplies. We're going to start with those blocks to make the base. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay out um, so rows of four to make a 16 block rectangle for the base. Now what I'm going to do is just I'm going to start gluing these together again using the glue of your choice and I'm just going to start by stacking up four blocks in a row to make one of the rows in the 16 block base. Now once you've started this base, you could just continue to add each one of those individual rows until you have a solid 16 block piece. Now the next set of blocks we'll be joining together, we're going to join together three rows of four to make a 12 block piece rectangle. And we're going to do this the same way as the other one, gluing them all together in a solid piece. And then finally, the last set will be a total of six blocks as shown here. And this will be the last one that'll go on the very top. So now that we have all three pieces assembled, we're going to stack them up as shown to make sure they're nice and even. You just want to add some of that glue in between the layers. Just be generous with this. Press it right in the center of the base. Now once that 12 block set is adhered to the 16 block set, you just add that 16, that six block set right on top in the center to make it three blocks high. So we also want to use a dowel here and this will help with our stand. So these dowels are about 12 inches long. So I'm going to mark it at that six inch mark and then cut it carefully with a pair of wire clippers. So now we have two six inch pieces for our dowels and we can use that as a support for our project. So what I'm going to do is go in with some black acrylic paint and what I'm going to do is paint all of my dowels and I'm just going to add one nice coat to that. Now once the dowels are done, we are also going to paint the base, the supportive base, and I am going to apply it on the top, the sides and the bottom of this piece. Now here are all of our pieces, nice and painted and dried and ready to go. Now I did want my dowels to be mounted inside my base instead of glued on top for extra security. So I am going to drill holes and I chose a drill bit the size and width of my dowel. So my placement of my dowels will be in the last two blocks of that six block set on each side. And I want to just want to drill down in there. Now you're not drilling all the way through the bottom on these bases. You're only drilling through the top two blocks. So once that's done again, I'm going to go in and touch up the paint. You could do this beforehand and I, I just went ahead and did a touch up. 
Okay, so now that that's dry, we can add our dowels into those holes. And I, since it's two wood items I'm joining, I am using my wood glue and I squeezed a little bit in each one of those drill holes and then I'm just twisting that dowel into the base. Okay, so we're gonna set the base to the side and grab our 12 inch circle piece here. Now, if you don't have these circle pieces, you could definitely do this with foam board. I would just use a double layer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is find the center of my circle and I'm just gonna make a mark and it was about the six inch mark in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my little compass and I'm gonna draw an inner circle. Now this inner circle is about two and a half inches from the outer edge, just to give you a guide. Now, once you do draw that circle on, I'm gonna go around with a, my utility knife. You can also use an X-Acto knife and I'm gonna go around about three times to cut through this MDF board. Now, once I go around three times, you should be able to kind of punch the center out. So I'm just going around and just removing that center. Now, there could be a little bit of scraps left here and this is where you'll just go in with your utility knife and you can easily remove those bits and pieces around the edge. Now, once all your scraps are removed, you're just going to go ahead and take some sandpaper. And what you wanna do is just carefully sand around that inner edge. Just make sure it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that hula skirt. Now, if you don't have a hula skirt, you could definitely use raffia or even jute cord, if whatever you like. Now, I'm gonna grab a handful of those strands, and I would guess I have about maybe 10 to 15 strands, and I'm gonna cut them from the skirt and then tie a knot in the end to bundle them together. Now, once you do bundle them together, this is what you're gonna to use to wrap around your sign. Now, before we wrap it around our circle, we do wanna find the center point on each side, so I'm going ahead and marking that, making sure that I'll know where to start and stop my wrap around. Now I'm just going to mark it with a sharpie as well so I'll get an idea. Now note that the patterned side of this sign is actually the back. So I'm going to start by adding a generous amount of hot glue. I'm going to trim down the end right above the knot and then I'm just going to start wrapping this around. You just want to make sure every one of those strands is kind of laying evenly and that there's no puckers or bulges around. Now it'll wrap around three times and then what you want to do for the end is tie in another knot. You want to trim that down and then hot glue that in place on the back. Now you're gonna complete this all the way around. Now here I am halfway done and I'm just gonna to continue to add those strands of that hula skirt all the way around. Now this is the, I think the third project I've used this hula skirt in, so these go a long way. So here is the bottom portion all adhered and you see the back is nice and clean. Now I am gonna go in with my metallic acrylic paint to paint this. Now you can definitely use spray paint for this, but by this time of day, it was raining and I didn't want that humidity to interfere with my spray paint. So I decided to go with my acrylic paint and I'm so glad I did. Now here it is on the front and the back. Now you do wanna cover the back just about a half of an inch as well. So, you know, the color will go all the way around. And then on the top half, you just want to carefully go in with your black acrylic paint as well. Go all the way around, making sure you get the inside edge and the outside edge. And go in a little bit on the back as well, since part of that may be showing and you want to cover all of those raw edges. So now just let this completely dry. So here it is all nice and dry and we wanna make a covering for the back. So I'm just taking some of this thick craft paper and I'm outlining the inside and outside of my circle piece. And then I'm going to cut it out. Now when I do cut it out, I am cutting it about an eighth to a quarter of an inch smaller on each one of those outlines because I want it to kind of fit inside the natural circle so it doesn't show on the uh, pretty side of the project. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our stand and attach it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and figure out the center part. And once you do, just go ahead and make sure you mark it. Now once it's marked, you don't wanna glue it to the actual strands of the hula skirt. You wanna nestle it down in, making sure those dowels make contact with the actual board of the sign. Cause you want to glue this to the sign and not the actual strands. So once you get that contact, I'm just, 
oozing my the, the hot glue into that little crevice there and making sure you get hot glue generously placed inside that connection so it's nice and secure and I'm using these Dollar Tree clips to keep it in place until it dries. Now once that's done and everything is nice and secure, this is the point where I'm going to go ahead and cover up the backing and as you see it comes in just a little bit perfect. This is exactly what I wanted it to do. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and add some hot glue all the way around, gluing down all of that craft paper and covering up the back to make it nice and pretty. And here it is all nice and cleaned up. And now your project is ready. Just remove those hot glue webs and you're ready to go. Now, okay, this piece was so much fun to make and it really turned out amazing. Now, I do love all of the textures and the presentation of this piece and I couldn't be more happy with it. Now, even though I have given these my personal touch with the colors and the style, there's never one as great as your own. Now, I love all of these projects today, but you guys have to let me know in the comments which piece was your absolute favorite and how would you customize them in your home? Let me know in the comments below. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. If you like videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below or just click on my She So Crafty logo on your screen and make sure you hit that bell to be notified when my next DIY goes live. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.